I have a game tomorrow. If I win, I play Sunday. But next week, we'll get the three-year-olds up. And virtually all we'll do with them is ride them, get them right. It'll take a week to get them quiet. Stick and ball them four or five times till they let us go up and down the field. You know, hitting the ball primarily on the offside forward. I don't really care about the other stuff. I don't care about their leads or anything else. I mean, they all do it because they're all very, they're, they're bred to be naturals, but um, it's basically to get them to where, you know, they, you can stick and ball them, you know, up and down the field, going right and left, and very little. If they do that, they do it quietly, boom, they go back out again. Get them up in the fall, we'll do the same thing. It's amazing that at that age, turning them out, they do much better just by giving them, you know, we'll probably ride them two weeks, maybe three if there's a, if one of them's a problem and then turn them out, do the same thing in the fall. And then next spring we'll start playing them. Um, and it's just a program that until they're, I mean, these guys are five and I consider them still young, <coughs> but they're far enough along that Campbell's playing them and he's played four and six goal. And then I'll take them to Wyoming and play them and probably it's 10 to 14 go polo. But, and then <clears throat> turn them out after that and then next spring they'll be ready to play competitive tournament polo. So I'm a believer in waiting longer because the downside of waiting longer is maybe you missed a year. The downside of going too early is that you can ruin them. So we try to be patient and physically and mentally, these guys, <coughs> I mean, they're just not, they're not mature enough to go have whipping spurs right now. Now, they'll get played hard this summer in Wyoming, and they'll be in that environment where they're in a stall all the time, and they'll have game, white pants, all the, everything else, but it'll be, they make a big change physically between five and six. And then even, I find, raising them here in South Carolina between six and seven, they'll make, make another big physical difference. And then they're virtually ready to go wherever you want them to go. But I think seven, eight is, you know, the premier age. Um, you know, there's some that are more talented than others and will, will come on quicker, but I still don't push them. I kind of let them tell me. And they all will. And they're all different, you know.